In this video, I'm going to discuss bridging the Genus 3 VM to a physical network interface card on your PC. In a previous video, I showed you how to use the cloud to connect a Genus 3 network to a physical network. I've linked that video below. In that video, I showed you how to go to VMware settings on the Genus 3 VM and then bridge a third network adapter to your physical network and then use that third network adapter in your Genus 3 topology. Now, I had a lot of questions about getting Genus 3 to use a specific network adapter. One of the things I recommended in that video is using a USB Ethernet adapter rather than a wireless interface card because of the problems that you're going to have with the wireless interface card. So if you want to specify which network adapter this bridged interface is going to use, the easiest way to do that is to go to Edit in VMware Workstation and click Virtual Network Editor. This allows you to configure networking within VMware Workstation. In this example, I need to select change settings to use administrator privileges. So I'm going to change the settings and click yes. And notice I now have VM Net Zero bridged and it's pointing to a specific network adapter. You can change the physical network adapter that the bridged interface is going to be using by simply selecting it here. So as an example, I could either use the Realtek PCI Gigabit Ethernet network card, but that's currently unplugged. Or I can specify the USB Gigabit Ethernet network card, which is the one I currently want to use. So you could simply set this to automatic or specify which network card a bridged network interface within VMware will use. So I'm going to specify Realtek USB Gigabit Ethernet card which is this one. So now when I go to VM settings and add a network adapter or edit a network adapter and select bridged, it's going to be bridged to this physical network adapter. That means that devices such as router one in my GNS3 topology are physically connected via the cloud to this network adapter which is physically, in my example, connected to a switch and to the rest of my physical network. That means that from another device, such as my Mac in this example, I'll be able to ping the Genus 3 router. So if I type debug IP ICMP here, notice I'm getting the echo replies to the pings. And I should be able to tell it to that router. At the moment, I'm getting password required, but none set. So let's create some passwords and enable Telnet on the router. So now when I Telnet, I'm Telneting to the router and I could change the host name as an example to GNS3 router one. Press enter here, notice the router name has changed. So again, it's recommended that when you use a cloud that you use the GNS3 VM by adding an additional network adapter to your Genus 3 VM. That's going to be a bridged interface. The interface that it's going to be bridged to is based on what you set under the virtual network editor. And again, within this editor, you can specify which physical network adapter on your PC the bridged interface will be bridged to. So any network card that's bridged within a VM, such as this one, is going to be physically bridged to the network adapter that you specify here. So bridge it to a USB physical network rather than a wireless network, as an example. You can have a lot of problems using wireless network cards. So I hope that's answered the question for a lot of you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.